In this video, I want to show you how you can update R in a very efficient way. Normally, people would actually deinstall the old R version, go to the R website and get the latest R version. By using the installer package, this can be done much, much faster. I want to walk you through the steps you need to do to get the package and to do your R update. So first of all, get the package. If you have RStudio, just go to Packages, Install Packages and get the Installer package. Then you click Install. If you do not use RStudio, you could just simply use the console and use the command install.packages and that should also work. After you have installed the package, you need to activate it. Um, you can just type in library and then installer. And that should do the trick. So now it is actually activated. And that is the simple way of how you would install new packages. What we now need is uh, the proper command for the installation. Uh, the command is called update r. And then you would you would use empty brackets and with that command the whole update process would start and the computer would actually ask you if you um, would like to know about the news, if you actually want to download the new package and what the computer should do with the package. Let's take a look at the help function of update R. So as you can see we have a description of this function and what it actually does is it checks if there is a new version available, it asks you if you want to download it and what it should do with the old version, if it should actually close the old version and also what it should do with the packages. So I think that's really, really useful and I highly recommend using the installer package. Uh, concerning how often you should update your R base package, usually I would recommend about one year People could also do it in shorter, in shorter time spans, um, since there is not so much change in between versions. It is not really necessary to update for every new version. So I personally do it about every half a year or every one year, and that's totally sufficient. So just a brief summary of what we did: we basically got the package. The package was called installer, and then we were using the update r function with the empty brackets and this one runs now the update process. The computer would ask you then several ways concerning the news, concerning how to handle the, the installing process, what to do with the old program and what to do with the packages. Please note that under some circumstances it may occur that um, the packages from your old r program are not fully loaded into the new one. So therefore I always recommend to double check with the, with the latest version if all your packages are also available in your new R version. This was Martin from r-tutorials.com. Please do not forget to subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly at my website r-tutorials.com or you could, for example, leave a comment. Furthermore, just take a look at the other videos I prepared for you on the topic of R programming.